What's up guys, Mino here and today we will be talking about cruisers and why you should consider one as your first big motorcycle. Why is it a good choice? What are the downsides? And what are the brands that currently sell cruisers in the Philippines? But first, let's start with what is a cruiser? A cruiser is normally identified by its long wheelbase and low seat height and built for comfort on long distance road trips. Riding position usually places the rider's feet forward and arms raised to the chest level and your back straight or slightly lean back. Cruisers are normally big, hence they tend to be called big bikes by anyone who has no idea what the different types of motorcycles are. They are very stylish and classic looking bikes that never go out of style no matter how old they may be. The Cruiser is a style of motorcycle that was created and popularized in America from the 1930s to 1960s and that is why cruisers are generally associated with the all-American brand Harley-Davidson. But we're not going to be focusing on the brand alone since there are brands out there that make cruisers and are way more affordable and offer similar riding enjoyment. Now why is a cruiser a good choice for beginner riders? As what I said, cruisers are built for comfort which makes riding an enjoyable experience and even on long distance trips. Passenger comfort is a big plus on this kind of bike and the low seat height plus the low stance make bike control very easy even for short people. The engine on most cruisers are big but don't let the size fool you as most cruisers are designed for low end torque, smooth acceleration and of course reliability. They are infinitely customizable and the aftermarket offerings are abundant. Simply add a pair of luggage for your stuff and you are set to go for that trip while still looking fashionably good on the road. Or if you're feeling extravagant and want some entertainment, add a fairing for wind protection with built-in speakers for your music. Fuel consumption is reasonable since these bikes are meant for long distance trips as what I said. Maintenance on most cruisers are very minimal and cheap. Just make sure that your engine and other moving parts are well lubricated, filters are placed regularly, and keep your battery fresh for hassle-free riding experience. Now what are the negatives? Well obviously the weight. Cruisers are generally heavy due to the fact that they are big motorcycles and are made for comfort. Okay, It's not perfect, you know, there has to be a trade-off. Now picking up a cruiser that has fallen on its side will require a huge amount of strength. But be diligent and do not drop your bike. That's my only advice for you guys or that, that area. The low ground clearance is very welcoming for short riders indeed, but you sacrifice cornering clearance, therefore limiting your riding speed on twisty roads. Also, bumps and potholes on the road are your worst enemy. Never, ever take a cruiser off-road, not unless if you are confident in your skills power to displacement tends to be low. Yes, they have big engines, but they do not offer levels of performance compared to superbikes. And of course, the styling. Riding around on a classic style motorcycle such as a cruiser will immediately associate you with being an old person who might have anger management issues. But then again, you can't have everything. Just like in life, there has to be a balance and so does your preferred motorcycle. So, what are the brands and cruiser models that are currently being sold brand new in the Philippines? Now, to start the list is Honda with the Rebel 500. Yes, the ultimate beginner cruiser motorcycle. It is a non-traditional style cruiser with its trail style frame and parallel twin engine. It's lightweight and offers decent power and has one of the lowest seat heights and well-balanced ergonomics. And of course, it's super reliable. It's a Honda, of course. You can get one at your local Honda dealership and they are reasonably priced as well. Kawasaki has three cruiser offerings for the would-be buyer. You got the Vulcan 650S with its low seat height, bulletproof Ninja 650 based engine, of course similar performance with the Ninja 650, but styling is somewhat confused. Okay. Another bike for the traditionalist, you got the Vulcan 900 Custom, which can be easily mistaken for a Harley. And there's the other one, the classic British style W800, guaranteed to turn heads at your local bike meet. Next is Yamaha. Now Yamaha is known for offering multiple redundant models and they actually have a lot to offer 
in the cruiser market. That's if you live outside the Philippines though. For us Filipinos, we get the Bolt 950, which is a really good looking bike that has a lot to offer for riders of different skills. Now, I haven't taken one out, but I hear a lot of good things from owners about this particular bike. You can get one brand new at your Yamaha dealership for around 500 to 600. Now something British, something with a bit of class, Royal Enfield, probably one of the most affordable and most reliable brands that are that you can get in the Philippines. If you are familiar with this brand then you know that these are bulletproof motorcycles capable of going up the Himalayas like nobody's business. Choices are a bit limited though since these days they no longer sell the bullet and the classic 350 and 500 cc models but we are left with the new for 2021 meteor 350 which is actually still based on the former models now if money is not a problem and you want to go all out on a cruiser then might as well get a harley davidson yes harley davidson now the choices are abundant with this brand and they basically made the cruiser new riders I highly suggest you go straight with the Sportster Custom 1200 or the new for 2021 Softail Standard since they offer the best value for money in their model line. I will make this video short and limit the list right here for now. I know, I know, there are new brands in the country now but for, but those are either relatively new, with little market feedback, too expensive or probably too damn powerful for a new rider. Now, I hope you like this video, and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content. As always, see you next time.